that's the case, then our Savior wants us to know that he has a very passionate relationship with each one of us. After all, he is the union of his church, he is the bride. Then the good news is that our Savior knows his thoughts. Right now, in this moment, he knows who you are. He knows your needs. He understands your fears. He celebrates with you. Maybe each of you. Your unique, you have a purpose, your state of language, love, his grace, his life on you. And the end one will do with this gospel is that in your marriage, in our lives, when we fail to notice him, he still pays attention to us. When we fail to celebrate him, he still pursues that relationship. When we fail to respond to his love, he still gives himself to each of us. So may God bless you. And his love in your home. Amen. In a few moments, we're going to exchange rings to symbolize your commitment to one another on the altar of the campus. And two of those uh, were lit by your parents. They represent your two separate lives. But in the middle of the Christ candle, we will do two light together to represent your oneness in Christ. So why don't you give your flowers to your made of honor? Why don't you turn and face each other? Hold each other's hand, look into each other's eyes. In Christopher and Dana, if it is your intention to share with each other your laughter and your tears and all the years will bring, then by your promise to bind yourself now to each other as husband and wife. So Christopher, repeat after me. I, Christopher, in the presence of God, and these witnesses, thank you, Dana. Be my wife. Be my wife. To have a full from this day forward. For better or for worse. For richer or for poorer. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. Until death parts us. And I pledge you to my faith. David and Peter. Now that Christopher and Dana have consented to get in holy marriage, have given themselves to each other by their solemn pledges, and declared the same before God and these witnesses, and pronounced them to be husband and wife, and they have Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, for God has joined together, that no one separate. Amen.
Satan has faithfulness and love for each other, the same and dependent on all trials and temptations, helping to live in faith toward you in the communion of your holy church, and in loving service to each other, that they may enjoy your heavenly blessings through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord. And now, Lord Jesus, remember us in your kingdom, and teach us to pray, our Father, who art in heaven, heaven. hallowed be your name, thy kingdom, kingdom come. come. That will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not in temptation, but deliver us from evil. Thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Now in the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God the Father, and the fellowship. My children, for the very first time, I'm going to introduce to you Mr. and Mrs. Christopher Jones, and you may just surprise. 